welcome to the last three brain cells here. It's Sammy here with Ian here. Obviously, we got we're both sponsored Michigan State football with their win against Michigan the other day. Of course, that was a great win for Sparty Nation for knocking off Michigan. That was an awesome football game. That was a beautiful football game. I love Jim Harbaugh. Oh, yes. You got to love Mel Tucker, too. I do. But Jim Harbaugh, what? Why? Does he have money on the Spartans these last couple uh, of years? You know, he's, you know, he is 0-2 against Mel Tucker. Well. 3-4 and four against Michigan State. And then he is, I believe, 0-5 against Ohio State. Yeah. So. It seems like things maybe go well offensively for them in the game. And then he yeah. goes away from it. It's sure. like, what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, not my coach. No, no, not mine either. Um, but that was good, man. Oh, sure. It was very good. Um, how have you been doing? Been all right since we last talked. Uh, been rough for me, of course. You know, had a lot of problems with my Yahoo account and all that. Yeah. Um, you know, so we'll flipping, see what happens. Flipping hackers. Yeah, flipping hackers. We'll see what happens. I think we'll get it straightened out. I hope so. I mean, like, but. We'll call Yahoo if we have to. Yeah. I we'll see what happens. You still know what's going on fantasy wise. Oh, You're still sure, ready dude. to gab fantasy, huh? Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, obviously, the big story, of course, Aaron Rodgers is um COVID nineteen a diagnosis. You hear about that today? So going into week nine, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty crazy. He was not vaccinated. I don't understand that because doesn't the NFL have a policy here that say that all players need to be vaccinated? Well, yeah, but you don't have to be. But I know, I know Bryce. I know um. Cole Beasley, I mean, like, right, is right. the only one I know that's unvaxxed. No, there's, I think, it's close to 8 10% of the league is not vaccinated. Mm, so that means Aaron Rodgers is done for two weeks. Ten days, at least. Yeah, that's two weeks. So Yeah. Now, if you're Green Bay, obviously your quarterback situation is a mess. Now you have, now Rodgers out, and then you have Devontae Adams is well, out. I mean, it's like what the heck? Aaron Rodgers... His little off-season deal, you know, am I coming back? Am I not coming back? And then he doesn't get vaccinated as the quarterback of the team. Mm -hmm. And here we go. We have to deal with it. He has to play the Chiefs. Yeah. But they have to play the Chiefs. Mm -hmm. With the Chiefs somewhat reeling, they don't look good. They didn't. No, they didn't look good against the Giants at all. No. And now you got to play Green Bay. You, mm -hmm. They have a backup. Right. This could be a get-right moment. Well, game for Kansas City. Let's but. see. If you're Green Bay, you know, obviously your backup quarterback. Um, didn't you draft him? You know, to be Aaron Rodgers replacement. Yeah, what's his name from uh, Baylor? Yeah, Jordan know. Love. Jordan Love. Yeah, didn't. I don't think he's that good of a player. Well, we don't know. Mm -hmm. We've only seen him in the preseason. Yeah, I mean, it's a good opportunity for Kansas City. Absolutely. And it was silly for the leader of the team to not stand up and get vaccinated. Just get a shot. You know, and now he's COVID positive, and you don't know how many other players he infected, especially his teammates, you know, considering where that's been. Right. I mean, horrible. It's hard to comprehend. Well, I don't know what's hard to comprehend, that Aaron Rodgers fiasco or the Detroit Lions. What's going on with the Lions? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Thank God it's the bye week. They, yeah, I still take the bye week as well, they're favored. I know that. I know that they're favored. Um, <laughs> what were you thinking about that game? I mean, I know you had to be just sick. Yeah, if like you want to start with the week eight recap, mm -hmm. start there. Yeah. Um, very disappointing. Yeah. You know, because I thought they played decently. Mm -hmm. They played well against the Rams, I thought. I thought that, too. And to revert back to their... Not trying ways. The last two weeks. Well, the Bengals before that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's disappointing. Um, we know they're lacking talent, so mm -hmm. they do not have any room to lack effort. No, and I think, to me, that's a big problem for them is their effort. You know what I mean? It's basically the lack of effort has been just... And Jared Goff has been very disappointing. Um, I know he doesn't have a lot to work with, but from a leadership perspective, when things are not going well on the sidelines, there needs to be people, players, mm -hmm. that can rally the troops, improve morale. Coaches can only do so much. But when you see players sulking, sitting there with 
you know, blank looks on their face. It's just disappointing. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I mean. I don't know where they go. I went, I mean, like, um, Jalen Hurts had an okay game, but Philly's running back situation, you got to figure that out. I the mean, Miles Sanders still on IR. Um, Kenneth Gainwell, a lot of people picked him up, I know, in a lot of leagues. Mm-hmm. Um, but Boston Scott had a big game against the Lions. And then Jordan Howard, you know, had a big game. That was Ford Field on Sunday. Yeah, that was Ford Field on Sunday. It's terrible. That's been Ford Field the last two weeks. Hated it. So now you got to look at, obviously, obviously when you look at the Lions, TJ Hawkinson and... The- he, he's one that I wish would step up more. Mm-hmm. I get it. He was drafted by Bob Quinn. Mm-hmm. Things were pretty dysfunctional when he got here. Mm-hmm. But when I talk about blank looks, I mean, that guy has no emotion. Mm-mm. And I wish, honestly, they would have dealt him. Yeah. Because he doesn't really, I mean, he's got an opportunity to stand out on this team. And I don't know if he has a problem with Jared Goff. I don't know what his deal is. You think he misses Matthew Stafford? I'm sure he does. But Stafford here was never great at using tight ends. No. I think he's better now with Pig being a better. Offensive Better scheme. Offense scheme with the Rams, yes. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Goff clearly has <laughs> an eighth of the arm talent Stafford has, mm-hmm. you know, if that. So it's it's got to be hard for anybody on that offense. Absolutely. To go from hard. Stafford to Goff. I mean. Goff's been very disappointing. Yes, I mean, obviously. He's he's done. I mean, you, <laughs> you flame out with the Lions. Your career is pretty much over as a starter, I would think. Yes, and to me, it looks like I think Jared Goff. You know what I mean? You're right. You got to step it up, or he's going to get benched by David Blow. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. So, second half of the season. I mean, do you see any improvement? No. <laughs> Nothing. I don't see any improvement at all. It's gonna be a long couple months. Yes, I know. Do Maybe you see two them? Months. Do you see them winning a game? No. You don't. Mm-mm. I don't. Because I'm looking at that schedule. <laughs> where does that where does that leave Dan Campbell? You go your first year and you lose every game. That's hard to come back from. Of course. That's hard to sign free agents. Yes. That's hard to convince people to buy in. Mm-hmm. I mean, Do you think he can I mean rally the troops himself? No. I don't know. I don't know. I like Dan Campbell. I I want to see too. it work out. I do too. You know, he was a saint. I mean, yeah, he he's he was a fine player, but he learned uh-huh. under a lot of people. And I like that he came from Sean Payton and the Bill Parcells tree. Yeah, I don't know. I don't either. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll right. tell you what. Justin Fields looks good. Okay. Um, I'll tell you also what. I'm curious to see Jameis Winston. He's done for the year at ACL. Yeah. Um. Basically, what do the Saints do with their quarterback? Well, you got Taysom Hill at quarterback, obviously, but also you got Trevor Simeon. Um, okay, so what do they do with their quarterback? Because both those guys aren't an option. Oh, they are. You think Simeon's an option? Sure. To to take a team to the playoffs, the sure. Saints every year have playoff hopes. Sure. I what? do. I think Simeon does. You know, he has experience. Played at Denver. You don't think so? I don't know. There's a reason he didn't stick in Denver. Denver's been begging for a quarterback since well, Peyton Manning left. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, he wasn't much. I mean, at the end. I mean, their quarterback earlier. I mean, was it Justin or Ian um, Mack or something? Or who's that? What Drew team? Lock? Oh um, yeah, he didn't work out. No, he got benched for got benched Bridgewater for Bridgewater. I mean, you think Teddy Bridgewater is an option, or do you think he should? Or do you think that? He's a seat warmer, man. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the Saints are going to do. They can't, they're not making any trades. No. Uh, I guess Phil Rivers was quoted as he'd listened to an offer. Mm hmm. Would you bring him over Simeon? Well, remember, here's a guy that coached high school football. Mm hmm. You know, here's a guy that coached high school football. So, are you trust Sean Payton to. Start Simeon and sprinkle in Taysom Hill. 
I would sprinkle. I would trust Sean Payton. You know, I would trust Sean Payton. They beat the they beat the Bucks. Right. But I don't know. They beat the Bucks twice last year and didn't do anything after mm-hmm. that. So. Yep. So that'll be really interesting. Now, what about the Saints' offensive players? <laughs> they have a good defense. Yes. Uh, Callaway. Mm-hmm. Can't even think of who else they have on their team. Fantasy option wise, <laughs> Callaway's probably the only best bet. Do we see him taking a hit in production? I, I do. I mean, especially if they're going to have to run the football. Well, let's look at other teams that lost their quarterback. Seattle. Yeah, they haven't looked good at all. Are we keeping you up here, Sam? No, no. I'm just been tired. You know what I mean? Just had a rough day. Oh, come on. We're this is the green lights on, man. Oh, I know. We're filming. I know. Wake up. Trying to keep it try to try to keep it going together. So you got DK Metcalf has been doing well still right. without yeah. Russ. Right. Um you know who I look at a lot when I think of backup quarterbacks and receivers still having success is DeAndre Hopkins. Yes. Wasn't was Simeon a quarterback in Houston? Um I think he no. was. No. I th- I thought he was. I mean, you're thinking Hopkins always still had production. Has mm-hmm. always been a number one. Who's ever been receiver. their quarterback? You know what I mean, Brian Hoyer. Regardless, right? In Houston, obviously. I mean, so it can be done. A lot of times, though, it's not done. No, I don't know. The and Saints, I don't know. You know, I I really thought the Saints could have made a trade to go get Jared Goff. You think so? I was hoping, but I psh. Goff is not good. I know he's not good. I think he would have been better down there, but. The the cap, there's their Saints cap situation is not good. Well, near the Lions. Well, the Lions just have a lot of dead money. Yeah, they got a lot of dead money. And trading Goff would have been more dead money. <laughs> How uh, much more yeah. dead money can you take? I don't know. Well, it caps up to one seventy, so <laughs> so one hundred twenty million more, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Then you got no players. Yes, that's true. They got no players. I don't really no have talent. Any players. You know what I mean? Yeah. No players, no talent. <sighs> Uh, all right, where else do you want to go with week eight? Well, we got, I thought, Tua played well. I mean, Josh Allen had, um, Josh Allen's a little disappointed. You know what I mean? Like, he didn't go the expectation route that I thought he would. Um, But, you know, you know. But it is what it is. You like Tua moving forward? I do like Tua moving forward. Um, But, you know, going against the Bills, you know what I mean? It's a difficult matchup in Buffalo. But yeah. I think he'll be good. I think he scored Matt 21. Stone, you know what I mean, against Cincinnati. I, I, I did not uh, see that coming. Mike White? Mike White, my bad. <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> yeah, who the heck is that guy? Went for 405 against Cincinnati. That was crazy. I, I, the Bengals are a team I don't understand because they beat the Ravens. They beat the Ravens. Smushed them. Smushed them. And then they lose the Jets. Would you say the Jets got... Lucky? Yeah, they got lucky. But... Mike White, do you think that was uh, an instance of they don't have tape on him, or do you think that was Mike White's a good quarterback? Uh, I think I think it's the latter. I think that they didn't have any tape on him. Who is Mike White? Uh, that I have no idea. Never heard of the guy. Never heard of him. Do you know where he's from? Nope. I would ask. I would ask your be- I would ask. I would ask your beautiful daughter Marlo that question. Marlo, you know. Doesn't know Mike White. Yes, I know. Marlowe's coming to a world where the Lions haven't won a game. I know. And the Jets have won two. I know. Against the Titans and Bengals. I, I just don't understand this. How did the Jets win two games against those two teams? And they absolutely suck. Well, who's their coach? Uh, oh, boy. My brain's all fried. <laughs> Salah. Oh, yeah, Salah. Remember he interviewed for the Lions job? Oh, yeah. He's doing better than Dan Campbell so far. Well, I think the Lions disaster is a beautiful disaster because you really look at it here. It's, it's a horrible situation. It's a terrible situation over there. The The Lions, the Lions they have no talent. They have no talent. You know, and then you look at what Salah has. He doesn't really have a quarterback. I mean, Mike White. K 
He had know, a rookie before that. He had a rookie before I that. I guess Mike White's a rookie, but. You know, and then you look at Carolina's situation, Sam Darnold. I mean, to me, was it either Sam Darnold's that bad or was it Mike White that good? Is Zach Wilson any good? I don't know if Zach Wilson's any good. I don't know. The Jets are a team. Uh, mm-hmm. They're terrible. They do have some fantasy options. Though. They do. They do. Michael Carter, mm-hmm. you know, running back, mm-hmm. really, really been really been playing good football. Robbie Anderson. Robbie Anderson. I mean, he's in all right. He's okay. He's all right. And then uh, Corey Davis. Yeah, but he didn't he, play last week. He had a couple decent weeks. Mm-hmm. Is he out? He might be out now. He might be out. For a while. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, the game that started week eight, Green Bay versus Arizona. That's when Rodgers basically won that game. and No Devontae Adams. No Devontae Adams. Undefeated COVID-19. Arizona. Undefeated Arizona. In Arizona. In Arizona. But I got to ask myself, what was Kyler Murray doing throwing the football? To a guy that wasn't looking at him? The guy that wasn't looking at him. I, I don't know. That was horrible. Yeah, that wasn't good. It was terrible. Uh, but that was a good game from a fantasy perspective Absolutely. in a way. Uh, unfortunately, Adams was out. Right. Um. But that really hurt a lot of people, I think, because Green Bay really, you know, shut down Arizona. Mm-hmm. Kyler had like nine points. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people have been living high off the Cardinals. Defense, yes. Well, just their weapons and their and Kyler. Mm-hmm. Um, do we see that trend of losses continuing with the Cardinals, or do they bounce back? They got the Niners coming up. I think they. It, it's an interesting game with San Francisco. San Francisco's got a good defense. Um, but I just think Arizona will bounce back. Kyler Murray's got too much pride as a quarterback. I mean, I think he can be better than what people think he is. Um, it is in San Fran. It is, but I, I think Kyler Murray can bounce back from this. I really okay. Do. do we see them as who, – who do we see as the best team in the NFC right now? The best team in the NFC right now. We talked about this we last week. We talked about this last week. Um, you know what? Dallas. Dallas. Because they just won with the backup quarterback. In Minnesota. In Minnesota. On prime. On, on prime, prime time Sunday yeah. night. And they just, they looked the part. I mean, you know, you, I mean, I really like the um, former Central Michigan quarterback. Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush. I really <laughs> like him as a backup. You know, he's a solid backup to Dak Prescott. I mean. Zeke Elliott had a nice game. Um, their defense to me is what's changed. Yes, yeah, their defense. They have the Dallas defense. I mean, they're solid. They are. They're really good. They are. Um, it, it pains me to say all this because I don't like Dallas. But I love you, the hockey team down there. Yeah, yeah, I don't like them either. Oh, you watch your mouth. You think they're the best, though, in the I NFC? I the NFC right now, yes, because the way they've been playing – um, I know a lot of people in the NFC West are going to complain about it. You know, Arizona, Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they've been really good all year long. I mean, but, you know, other than that, I just think that um, Dallas has been pretty much the best team. You know, obviously you look at Green Bay in the north now, Darren Rodgers out with COVID. Now that basically changes that divisional race a little bit. But I, I just feel like everybody in the NFC North, well, I don't it's know so, if it changes the division. Why do you changes think? the conference? It does. It could. It could. If, he, if this lingers, uh, but the divisions, there's nobody challenging the Packers. No, no way. I mean, the Lions are Lions are a daycare center. Chicago, Chicago's got a good defense, no offense, and then Minnesota, you know, is very suspect. So, you know, you really look at the NFC North. I mean. You know, nobody's really challenging Green Bay. And the NFC East, you know, it's Dallas and then everybody else. NFC South, you know, you basically got New Orleans, Tampa Bay. Um, those two teams are going to battle it out all year. Carolina's a wild card. Yeah. And then and then the NFC West, you know, that's a big mess right there. So so really, it's it's the Bucks, it's the Packers, it's the Rams, Cardinals, and mm-hmm. Cowboys. Yes. Those are your teams in the NFC right now. Mm-hmm. And then it's nothing. Yeah. And the AFC is wide open. Wide open. I mean. Who, who are you putting in the, in the head of at a class there? Right um, now after the Bengals went down, 
The Chiefs continue to look not yeah, great. Yeah. The Bills kind of squeaked by. I still think it's Buffalo. I think it's Buffalo. Because I think Buffalo's the team to beat in that division. I mean, I really like where the Bills are at right now. Um, just the way they've been playing. I mean, you know, I think Buffalo's the class of the um, AFC East. Um, what about New England? They're they four and four. They're hanging around. They dropped a bomb on whoever the heck they just played. Who did they play last week? The Jets. The Jets. No. Oh, no the, Jets the Jets was two weeks ago. Jets was two weeks ago. Um, oh, the Chargers. Chargers, yes. Didn't they beat the Chargers? They beat the Chargers. Yes. I just. Is that Bill Belichick just beating a rookie or a second year QB? Or are the Patriots a team somehow? They don't have any fantasy value. None they don't have any None. value. Their defense. Their defense. That's probably it. But I just think when you look at when you look at teams, you know, when you look at New England, yes, they're a team. But when you look at from a fantasy perspective, no. But I was surprised how they beat, how they won that game. Mm-hmm. I was shocked how they won that game. And Chargers scuffling a bit. Mm-hmm. They are scuffling a bit. I mean, they're struggling. To sustain offense, um, they're struggling to. You know, I think it'll be very interesting to see what happens. Um, well, the AFC West in general is interesting. Yes, it is. You got the Chargers there. You got the Raiders. Raiders are. We in just first found place. out about Henry Ruggs' arrest. What a scumbag! I can't believe he got. I, I, what the heck? You I know, hope his career is over, but who knows? Well, let's see. You had the John Gruden fiasco there. Now <laughs> right. you have this. I mean, like, good lord! I've heard bad things about Ruggs. As a person for a while now. Well, since he got drafted last year. Really? Just not a very nice dude. Um, people in Las Vegas don't really like him Mm-mm. around town. And what now, has he done? Well, he's just not. In Vegas, um, it's like a, I don't, I don't know if close-knit is the right word, but uh, it's, a, it's a service industry-oriented town. Mm-hmm. The locals all work in the service industry. Right. So if you treat those people poorly, meaning you don't tip or you're rude, just unpleasant, um, that word gets around and people don't like you. And I know he got busted for going 156 on a freeway, I believe. Terrible. He killed the person. He killed the person. And it's disgusting. He should be done for the league. He should. He, he probably should go to jail for some time. Mm-hmm. I don't know how long. I'm not a judge. Or well, let's prosecutor. see here. If you are, if you c- kill somebody, well, there's sh- different levels. Of okay, manslaughter. Okay, if you plan it or whatever, premeditated, then you're gone for life. But mm-hmm. if it's a accident, he didn't mean to. You know, he didn't set out to end someone's life. But, but he did. The results of his actions did end someone's life. So I don't know. I think if he does have to go to prison, I mean, like, maybe, I don't want to speculate here, but he's going to have to do some time. Be years. Be years, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know if it's decades, but it's years. No, it won't be decades. I think it'll be maybe at least eight to ten years. Yeah. That's what I'm expecting. But he should not be in the NFL anymore. No. No, it's terrible. It is. For, For what happened... And I feel bad for the person who died, her, it's ba- her, the family. Right. I think it was a, a young woman. Oh, my goodness. I believe she was in her 20s. I don't, I don't remember for sure. I, remember, I read a little bit of it today. But... That's unfortunate. Yeah, so the Raiders, like you mentioned, to get back to that team, uh, <laughs> they've had a lot going on. I think watch for They're Hunter. They're still Run- winning. Yeah. Watch for Hunter Runfall. I think he's a good option. Um, they, I mean, like. David Carr's been Derek. terrible. Derek Carr's been terrible. He's been all right. Been okay. They got five wins, man. Yes. Five or six. But the team I'm curious to see is Cleveland, how they do. Yes. Baker's back. Um, kind of. Kind of back, you know. Odell is not there anymore. What he happened? He didn't get traded, but Stefanski said he's not around the team anymore. Mm-mm. So I think they're going to release him. They're going to release him. Is what it sounds like. Or something I don't yeah. know. I don't mm-hmm. again contract mm-hmm. wise. I'm not Maybe. sure where they're at, Maybe. but 
Uh, Odell wasn't doing anything, though. No. Um, yeah, Cleveland, whew, they got to respond. Or they're yeah. the same old Browns. Or the same old Browns, you know what I mean? What are they, people, four and four? Yeah, people look at the AFC North. Obviously, you know, you got yeah. Pittsburgh, who's coming off a win. Um, well, Cleveland plays the Bengals yep. this week. And then Cincinnati, you know, and then Baltimore. You know what I mean? Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Baltimore's the one I'm keeping a real close eye on. Because... Yeah, Baltimore, I think, has a bye this week. Okay. They do have a bye this week? Looks like it. I don't see them on the schedule. Okay. Uh, Steelers play the Bears Monday night. Ooh, that'll be interesting. So you got the Browns. Browns at Bengals. That uh, should be a good game. Do you think that's a bounce back for the Bengals, or do you think Cleveland? I think it's a bounce back for the Bengals. I mean, because I think that the, um, the Bengals are better than what you think they are. They're much better than you think. Um, I think. I think they're pretty good. Yes, but they've had but the Jets. So, yeah, the Jets. So, yikes! You know, yikes! So you're you're picking the Bengals to win that game? I am. Okay. So we'll see what happens there. What about Titans Steelers? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Bears Steelers. Oh, Bears Steelers Pittsburgh. I mean, I think Pittsburgh's defense is really good. Um. You know, I think Ben Roethlisberger do enough in that game, I really do. What they win, fifteen to ten yeah. against Cleveland. Yes. Uh, okay, so Thursday night we got Jets at Colts. Colts gagged another game away. Indianapolis will win easily. They will not stop Jonathan Taylor. They will not stop. You don't think Carson will throw a pick at an inopportune moment? Yes. Like he did against the Titans. I twice. still can't figure that out how he threw that pick. Yeah, Carson's been a he's been he had a good stretch there. Mm -hmm. um, but you look at the Colts roster; they were a team I think going into this year you thought was going to be pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. And they're what? They're three and five. Three and five. Um, and then the Titans have run away with the division early on. Right. Um, did you see that? Being the case? Um, no, because, you know, I thought Indianapolis would be better. Um, right. Considering Houston struggles and there's Jacksonville, obviously. I mean, you really look at the AFC South. I mean, like, it was going to be either one of those two teams. I mean, but with Tennessee running away with the division, obviously with the play of Ryan Tannehill. Now, I'm curious how Derrick Henry, that injury huge is going to be. Impact. That's a huge impact there. So I think this is perfect ground for Indianapolis to make some ground up. If they can. I think they'll win. You know? uh, the Titans signed Adrian Peterson. <laughs> you see that going yeah. anywhere? I do. Yeah? I think he'll run a lot this year. I think he'll get, you know, if he was successful, he was at Oklahoma. I mean, I think he will, or in Minnesota. He's like 50, but, you know. It's serviceable, though. He did rest a lot. That he did. his uh, year with the Lions last year. That he did. <laughs> so... Colts can make up ground. This is really the time in the season, halfway through, where um, I think races are either solidified or, you know, mm -hmm. a huge wrench. Someone comes in and is a surprise, maybe like the Patriots, someone mingling around 500, just kind of hanging around, mm -hmm. and then they go on a run. Mm -hmm. and they launch themselves into the hunt or into mm -hmm. the playoff picture. Yes. Um, do you see any of these middling teams doing that? Do you see maybe can, the can Patriots? You... I can see possibly. Um, but other than that, I just so don't know. Some of the four and four teams are the Broncos, the Panthers, no. the Patriots, Yikes. the uh, Brownies. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. The Ravens play the Vikings this weekend. Okay. At Baltimore. Baltimore's gonna just. It'll be a good game. Uh, the Chiefs are four and four. That could be another team that yeah, that's a team they can wake up at any moment. That's a team. Yeah, yeah, that's a team to keep a very close eye on. Do you think they wake up, or do you think this is a year after they've gone on what's it been three years of going to the AFC Championship, winning a Super Bowl in there? Uh, do you think this is just teams are catching up, they're getting burned out, or do you think this is a, a lull in the season and they'll turn it on? I think it's a lull in the season to turn it on. I mean, obviously, you know, when you look at teams, I mean, you know, when you look at teams, I mean, 
you know, like Kansas City, you know, I know Darrell Williams has had a really nice start for Kansas City, but especially with CEH coming back pretty soon, um, you got to wonder about him. And then, obviously, um, Kansas City's defense is not that good. No, not, it's and very bad right it's now. It's very bad, and I think that's the reason why they're struggling right now, because their defense is really bad. It's a big part of it. Uh, Mahomes has struggled. Kelsey has struggled. Mm-hmm. Um, Tyreek Hill still gets his, but um, that offense, the fact that they can, or historically have been able to score at any time, mm-hmm. any way, mm-hmm. um, is a scary thought. Yeah. But I don't know. Looking, I don't know either. Looking at the West and the Raiders and the Chargers, um, it's a tough call. It is. It really is a tough call. I mean, um, I, I wouldn't be surprised either way. Yeah. Because I think there's a point where every team, if it's a dynasty type team, yes. because they haven't changed players. No. These are all the same players that they've mm-hmm. been been going to war with here whereas like the patriots when they were a dynasty it was brady and it was belichick and it didn't matter who else was there people were coming and going all the time Mm -hmm. uh i think this might be i don't know it could be getting stale maybe they could be getting stale yes they might need a shake up uh but patrick mahomes to me is still i mean the things he's done are incredible He'll find a way. Uh, the Chargers are four and three. Um, Eckler Herbert. The Steelers are four and three. Do we see them being any threat in the North? Pittsburgh? Yeah. No. I just think it's going to be Cincinnati at most points. The Steelers win 10 games every year, though. Yes, and it's Mike Tomlin's coaching them. So. I don't know how they do it. I don't know either. The Lions play the Steelers. <laughs> After the bye week. <laughs> yeah. That should be fun, huh? Yeah. Um, Might call Dr. Brett Baker, GMD, AEW wrestling. Who? Dr. Brett Baker, GMD, big time Steelers fan. Hmm. Yep. You watch AEW on um, TNT, you know what I mean? What does that stand for? All Elite Wrestling. Huh. Mm-hmm. You know? Good person, by the way. Great person. What's his name? It's a lady. What's her name? Dr. Britt Baker. Oh, Britt the Baker. Britt Baker, yep. Good wrestler. That was loud. Is this the music for that show? No. Oh. But that's the lion season right now. But that song's lion season right now. The lion season is. Sorry, I'm learning my. There are my cues here. Yeah. Here's the Lions season. Real quick, just a. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. Or this is a pretty good ind- indicator of the Lions football. Yeah, that's pretty much it. When your coach is crying at the podium. Yep. And then you just say. Bye, Felicia. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, man. Um, So the reason why I love the NFL is, for the most part. There's a lot of parity. There's a lot of parity. A Mm -hmm. lot of teams are A lot of teams. Good. They have a shot. Yes. Um, And that's why I like this point in the season is we get into November, get around Thanksgiving. Things start to get good. Mm -hmm. Races tighten or they separate. Um. I don't know. There's 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 some big names that are middling, and that to me is always interesting mm-hmm. because they could go off, right? Um, but then you have young upstarts like a Joe Burrow in Cincinnati um, that throw a wrench into that, that mm-hmm. you know, into yep. the Steelers mm-hmm. machine, mm-hmm. Um, and it helps with fantasy. It does, you know the. The scoring in fantasy these days to me is crazy. How high it is! It is. It um, is. The scores are just so high these days. It is. Um, so with that, you want to run down some more matchups for Week Nine? Oh sure, we can do okay. our picks for that one. Okay. 
All right, you want you want to pick the games? You pick the games, you know what I mean? And then we got some college football I want to talk to. Oh, okay. All Let's right. do that, you know? All right. You going to what, West Lafayette this weekend? No, I, I can't. I got a friend's wedding this weekend. Oh, yes. Yeah, I got a friend's wedding this weekend. I know whose wedding that is. Yes. Unfortunately, I'm not going to make that one, but. Yeah, I got to head out to Port Huron. For you that. and Ant are going? Yeah, we're going. Good. Good, good, good. <sighs> Should be fun. Should be fun, you know, just get out of the house. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Might head out to West Bloomfield maybe Friday night. You know Ooh. what I mean? To, Who are um, they playing? Watching them play Nova by Detroit Catholic Central. Why they're not Lake Orion this week? They're out of the playoffs. Oh, it's the playoffs already? Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Did they make the playoffs? No, they didn't make the playoffs. What was their record? They were 3-6 and six this year. 3-6. and six. Aye. Sheesh. Yep. So is this the first round then? Uh, This is the district final. What? District final. We're already that far already into Already that season. far, yeah. So West Bloomfield plays who? Nobody Detroit Catholic Central. Yeah, Oxford Adams, you know what I mean? That's going to be a really good game. You know, watch my OA Now podcast, you know what I mean? Ian and I talk specifically about those two games. Who does? Ian and I do our... Oh, Ian Locke. Ian Locke and I, yeah. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Um, who else is on the docket? Um, those are it for the OA. You That's know it. I mean? That's it for two the games. Two games. Two games. Wow. And then, so I whoever mean, wins there, they'll face off... Against one another. In Detroit? No, they will face off at, um, let's say if Adams wins, um, Adams is the fact number one right now. So basically, you know, let's say if Adams were to play like West Bloomfield, the game's at West, the game's at Adams. Um, and then and whoever wins that goes to the state. The state semis and then they have the state final. And are both those games in at the Fort, at Ford Field or just the finals? Just the finals at Ford Field. So how does it, who does the OAA play then? Oh, those who does are the two OAA, OAA games. Right now, pardon me. Those are two. Those are the two OAA games right now. But who does the OAA champion play? Uh, the red champion right now is West Bloomfield. They're playing nobody Detroit Catholic Sunday. No, no, no. But after all that, let's say after these two next games, then they would play each other. Right. So then Adams then hypothetically would, plays West Bloomfield. If if that were the case, then who does the winner of that game play? Probably either Rockford, most likely. Would but what in. division? Or division whatever. one. I guess I don't know how the state division one playoffs work. No. I'll, I'll so teach those you. would be the two division one teams. Yes, those are two division one teams right now. And then two, yeah, two, got two one, three, two, six. three. You got divisions one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's oh, eight, eight divisions. Okay. So, so based there's on four enrollment. games. Based at, on enrollment. Yep. Four games on Friday. Four games on Saturday. At Fort Field. At Fort Field. After Turkey Day. Yep. Okay. So that's how it works. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. All right, so we got Adams and West Blue, or Adams, Adams and, and Oxford. Oxford, and you think it's Adams that's going to win I that one? I think it's Adams, and then West Bluefield, nobody to Troy Catholic Central. I got West Bluefield. You got Mike Stone facing Madonna. Yeah, basically, <laughs> I got Mike Stone against Madonna. That'd be that should be really interesting. Those two teams play, but watch out for Oxford. I think Oxford's playing dangerous football right now. Yeah, they really are. I mean, so watch out for them in that game. Right. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got. Um, all right. So we picked the Thursday night game this week, Jets at Colts. Yep. You're going. Um, we're both going Colts. Yeah. Falcons at Saints. New Orleans. Now, Falcons are surprising three and four. Yeah. I'm I going they New Orleans. I'm yeah. going New Orleans. I think Taysom Hill bounces back. Saints at five and two. Uh, Broncos at Cowboys. I know you're picking there. Dallas. Patriots at Panthers. I'm going to go Carolina. If Run CMC's back. Is he? I don't know. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Okay. Uh, Vikings at Ravens. Baltimore. Browns at Bengals. Cincinnati. Are you agreeing with me here, Ian, or are you going out of I have not disagreed yet, except I think the Patriots are going to be the Panthers. Okay. Um, to me, the Panthers, there's some, something funky going on down there. Mm-hmm. And... Things are seeming to get right in New England at this yes. time. Uh, Bills at Jags. Buffalo. Texans at Dolphins. The battle of one and sevens. Oh, my God. The battles of teams that kind of want and kind of don't want Deshaun Watson. <laughs> now you're making me think here. I mean. Houston at Miami. I think that, I don't know. Both teams, to me, they're obviously bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they're surprising in how not bad they are. I think I'm mainly speaking about Houston there. They don't get their doors blown off every game. They no. lose. They lose, but. But not terribly. No. Not terribly. They're in every game. You know um, what? Which I, is think, a surprise. I think 
the more you talk to me about this game, I'm going to go Miami. You think Miami wins? I'm going to go Miami. I think so, too. I think two is the difference yes, in I that do. game. I think Jalen Waddle was as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I really do think that mm-hmm. in that game. Yeah, at the end of the day, Houston does not have Mm-mm. offensive weapons. No. All right, Raiders at Giants. Vegas. You got Vegas. To me, that's a tricky spot. Unless Saquon plays. Yeah, I don't know if he's playing or not. He, uh, I think he is. Didn't mm-hmm. he Didn't he just play last week? No, he didn't play last he week. He did not? No. Oh. Um. Western team coming east. Yeah. You going Giants? Weather could play into it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go Giants. I'm going to go with the upset there. Sure. Uh, Chargers at Eagles. Eagles are 3-5, and five, Chargers 4-3. and three. I'm going to go Chargers. So that's another east comes, east comes west. Or, I'm sorry, west. west. Comes east, yeah. But that's go. a 4 o'clock start still. Yes. So I'm going to go Chargers because a 4 o'clock start. I'm going to go Eagles. Because they clobbered the Lions. <laughs> yes, they did. Anyway, clobbered the Lions. They manhandled the Lions. I know they did. Uh, Packers minus Aaron Rodgers. At- Kansas City, big. Okay. <sighs> yep. I I could see the Packers winning that game. I would not be surprised. I'd be shocked if they did. You'd be shocked? Yes. I wouldn't be shocked. Cards at Niners. Cardinals. Sunday night football. Do-do-do-do. <laughs> Can't think how that theme goes. Uh, is it Faith Hill's song or Carrie Underwood? Well, Carrie, uh, <laughs> Carrie Underwood's got the theme song, but they got the the background music when they come into the studio. I know they have Faith Hill. When they Hill, go to like, Al Michaels. Yeah, I go like, I go, Al and Chris are the best on TV. Right. <laughs> There's like a, a music part though, uh, some horns and stuff. I can't. Mm-hmm. It kind of starts off almost like Rocky, but not quite. Yeah. So it's Titans at Rams from SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, <laughs> California. Rams in Inglewood. <laughs> Rams. Six and two Titans, seven and one Rams. You got Rams going Rams. to eight and one. Mm-hmm. Has Stafford ever been even seven and one in no. his career? Never. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, Monday Night Football Bears at Steelers. You had Steelers. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna agree with all that. Ah, boy, Derrick Henry going down is a big hit to the Titans and a mm-hmm. big hit to fantasy owners. Yes, it is. We I think we touched on Derrick Henry last we did. week. Uh, I mean, absolutely incredible. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Mm-hmm. This was bound to happen. Though. This happens to running backs. Yes. A season-ending in- injury, especially when he has been their offense. Yes. Kind. I mean, last year not so much. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was. Mm-hmm. I feel like they had more uh, variety in their <laughs> offense last year. Mm-hmm. This year, that's tough for them to lose him. It is. So, um, Do you see them sliding in any way? Yes, I do. And maybe the Colts sneaking in, you, you think? I think they'll sneak in, yes. Okay. They're still 6-2. and two. Yes. We'll see. We'll see. This is Ryan Tannehill time now. Yes, it is. He wants to prove he's a Tier 1 QB. Absolutely. Um, so of those matchups, are there any fantasy players you're liking? Um, Let's see here. Um, are there any real studs or duds? Tua, I'm watching very carefully. Against Houston. Against Houston. Tua's at home. Um. Um, I Josh Allen's a good play this week. Josh Allen against the Jags. <laughs> yeah. Any Bills against the Jags, good matchup. Yep. Um, other than that, Chiefs. Yeah, Kansas City's defense against the Green Bay. Sure. What about? Do you think the Can or the Green Bay defense takes a hit, and Kansas City gets right a little bit at home? Yes. Could happen. Could happen. I think that's a uh, Fox two or a. Uh, America's Game of the Week on Fox, so yeah, be good to watch. Uh, what about Vikings Ravens? Anything there? I think that's a low scoring game, or you think the Ravens? Game. I'd like Baltimore in that one, but I think it's gonna be a low scoring game. Okay, Bengals Browns. Cincinnati big. Yeah. Anybody from Cleveland's offense? You still plugging in their running backs? No. What about not Chubb and Johnson? No, not against. 
I got my second win with those two guys. I know you last did. week. Okay. All right, and Raiders Giants. Maybe Saquon comes back. I don't know. I don't know. Any duds? Anybody to avoid? Anybody in Green Bay? Um. What about anybody? Uh, what about Callaway with the Saints? Callaway with the Saints. Um, if you need a backup quarterback in your league, are you going with Simeon? No. No, you're not 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 risking it. Don't risk it. Okay. All right. All righty. Now you wanted to touch on college before we before we go. Yeah. Departed right. College. Yeah. What do you think about the college football playoff? Um, I don't really get too involved with the early rankings. Uh, the year State made the playoff, they were yeah. on the outside looking in until they beat Iowa. Mm-hmm. Um, now they're firmly in the playoff. Yep. Ranked. Third, Third. currently going to take on Alabama. They have Purdue this week. Um, that's a that's a tough game. That's a tough to game. To me, that's scary. I was scared of the Michigan game. I thought Michigan would win by three. Mm-hmm. Uh, Purdue completely knocked out Iowa. Yep. And I believe that was in Iowa. Yes, Iowa City, yes. Yeah. Um, you got both Georgia, Alabama, rank one, two. They can meet in the SEC championship game. They definitely will. Um. But I don't know, and then you have Ohio State clash with Michigan State. Most likely will happen in Columbus. That's a couple weeks from now, right? A couple weeks from now, and then um, Oklahoma at eight. You know what I mean? That's a little shocking. Yeah, but but they had problems with Kansas, so so yeah. Where do you see Michigan going from here? Um, their season's not over. No, but because they still got to play Penn State, but that's at home. And no, they, that's at oh, that's at Happy Valley. And then they got that's Ohio next State. And they got Ohio State. Right. So that's going to be really interesting to see what happens. They also, I believe Michigan plays Indiana. Yeah, this weekend. Which is no cakewalk. No. As we know. Yes. Um, Any chance Michigan still goes to the Big Ten title? No. I think it's either going to be Ohio State or Michigan State. It goes. Okay. Are you overlooking Purdue as a Michigan State fan? No. Are you worried about this game? Yes. How worried? Really worried. Was you're really worried? Really worried. Scale of one to ten, how worried? About an eight or nine. You're you're <laughs> mm-hmm. nine. Three thirty kick from West Lafayette. Mm-hmm. That means nightfall is gonna come at the end of the game. Yep. Um, you have a key to that game. Can Kenneth Walker run against Purdue's defense? See, to me, I think it's got to be Peyton Thorne, man. Mm-hmm. I think any time you can take. The load off the running back, or whoever your mm-hmm. main guy is, mm-hmm. with support. Um, that's to me the difference in this year's state team compared to previously good mm-hmm. Michigan State teams is they have options. Yes, uh, they're not self reliant on their defense. Just their does QB. worry me a little bit. Yeah, which okay, mm-hmm. their secondary still is of concern. Yes, Michigan was passing all over them. Right, and they they couldn't kept bringing in JJ McCarthy to give up the football. Yeah, they still bring him in. Anyways, um, I don't know where where do you see Ohio State fitting into all this? They got one loss that was Oregon. Um, yeah. I see Ohio State right now at six. Do you see them running the table though? Do you see them Ohio State? Yeah. Yes and no. Because the no, I think they're gonna. I think Michigan State's gonna give them problems. I think, you know, it'll be a game. It'll be a game. Um, I think Ohio State's much better than Michigan. Um, yeah, but you never know. Yeah. Um, I mean, Big Ten West. <laughs> I, Iowa, Minnesota's in this. Wisconsin, somehow, right? Somehow, like what? Why? Why are they so terrible every year? The West. I don't know. Unless the only way that that's going to be relevant is to put Michigan State out west. No. Why? No. Why? Be an easy path for State to get to the title game every year. Sure, but you can uh, play Michigan every year. Uh, well, I like them playing Ohio State every year. I like because I don't know. I like them who they play every year. I like them going through the gauntlet, and I like them when they win. They prove they're a big boy. Because mm-hmm. they have to beat good teams. Right. They can't just skate by a Minnesota 
Mm -hmm. Purdue. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It'd be interesting. Um, It'd be interesting to keep an eye on. Let's just cross our fingers for 9-0. and yeah. Meet back next week. Yep. All right, Ian. All right. Well, good, good times. Let's get that Yahoo back rolling. I hope so. All right. Say good night. Yeah.